I was hoping to convey uh, how diversity and mindset, everything we think about, really drives who we are. Uh, for me, it's important that we're not limited by any beliefs, especially our race, our gender, uh, even our education. And so the, the strongest communication is we, we kind of, we are what we think. And so if we apply that to the best mindset we possibly can in everything we're delivering, whether it be change, whether it be diversity, then we're, we're sending a really good quality message. So I talk about a thing called the love mindset, uh, and it's quite simply realising that a lot of other people are going through challenges very similar to yours, and we don't always feel comfortable talking about them or admitting them in, in a group environment. So in the talk, which, which was fascinating, a lot of people were able to share that kind of, I suffer from this imposter syndrome, which is how did I get here? I'm not always sure if I'm able or capable of what I'm doing. And if you kind of realize that, then we can change our mindset, feel a bit better about it, and then hopefully carry some of the love we then have for ourselves to the people that we're working with or sharing our ideas with. One of the classic things we all talk about is of course work-life balance. And I'm trying to encourage maybe a slightly different way of looking at that. For example, I would like to suggest it's all life, because the balance saying that one's good and one's bad, we often think of maybe scales, can sometimes be a little bit negative. So uh, think of the holistic approach. How does it all affect us? Does our work life complement and enrich our home life and our personal life, and vice versa? Balance is a great word. I also like harmony, I like holistic, to make sure it's, it's all working together. So uh, balance is hugely important, but make sure it's a harmonious balance in whatever you're doing.